For the third and final part of Activity 417, you need to connect your cams to the axle of this Automata box assembly, and then use the crank to rotate the cam uh, to get the position of the top of the follower in its highest position along this ruler and its lowest position. So let's go ahead and start by inserting our eccentric cam first. So I'm gonna click Insert, and then eccentric cam, I'm just gonna place it right there. And then click the green check mark. Okay, so what we need to do first is connect this cam to uh, our axle. So I'm gonna use, we're gonna use a fastened mate for that. And then I'm gonna zoom into the cam and then just click on the end of the cam at the center of the hole. And then I'm gonna rotate a little bit. We wanna put it on the axle right here. And then I'm just gonna click on the center so where you can see that center mark right there. So that will position the cam on the center. And then uh, I'm gonna just position this one. We wanna add an offset so that it's positioned underneath this first one right here, the one that's closest to the crank. Okay, so if we just type in one, let's just see where that leads us. So that's a little bit closer, but it needs to go a little bit further than that. So I'll say one and a half, and then I'm gonna change my view. So I'm kind of looking straight at it. it. Needs to go just a little bit more than one and a half. Uh, I'm going to say that 1.6 is good. It's not perfectly centered over it, but it doesn't need to necessarily be perfect for this. It's still going to work. Just make sure the entire cam is completely underneath the roller and you don't have like one end that's sticking out to the side, like over here or over here. Okay. Uh, so, so we'll go ahead and just accept that. And what we need to do now is add a constraint that's going to position this gray roller piece to rest on the edge of the cam like that. Okay, and the mate that we want to use for that is called the tangent mate. So click on tangent mate. And then what you want to do for this is what I found works best. This mate can be a little bit tricky, but um, I found it works best is if you click on the edge of one, like notice right now, I'm click I'm highlighting the edge of the roller right here. So if you click on the edge of one like that, and then you click on the face of another, so this would be the face of the uh, outer circular part of our cam, uh, that seems to work best. You know it works when the um, when they kind of snap together, like you just saw right there. If that didn't work, try switching the order. I'm going to go ahead and click out of those. Um, let me just slide that up a little bit. So if that didn't work, if it didn't snap for you that way, try switching it. So instead of clicking on the edge, like I did here for this, click on the face. So if you click on the face here, and then you click on the edge down here, if you click instead of the face for the outer portion, you click on the, the side either here or over here. Um, notice that one did not work for me. So I am gonna go ahead and flip it back to the way it was. So click edge and then face and then click okay. All right, so that should connect uh, our roller and our cam. Um, so if we go back to the side where we can kind of see our crank, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this side of the box transparent, just so we can kind of see a little bit of the cam. But as you rotate your crank now, the roller and the follower that it's connected to should stay in contact with it, okay? So what you need to do at this point is use the crank to turn it to the angle along this circle where the follower is in its lowest, in its highest position and its lowest position. So notice this right here is its lowest position. And this right here would be its highest position. And at each of those positions, so if I wanted to get the highest first, I'm gonna click over here at right and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom into the ruler and just see where that is. So I can see that that is clearly at two inches is where the top of the follower would be at its highest position for the eccentric cam. And then flip back over, rotate the cam around again, put it at its lowest position, which we said was 180 degrees. And then go right here, find what that position is. If you need to angle, that line right there, remember, represents a quarter. So that is one and a quarter inches. Okay, so you would want to find the maximum displacement then by doing that calculation. So you would do two minus one and a quarter, which is 
three quarters or 0 0.75. So that means that this follower has a total movement, the top of the follower has a total movement of three quarters of an inch or 0 0.75.